No auger kills, ye of little faith, no auger kills. It could go the distance, yep. I believe in you, Augur of Bolas. Oh, oh, oh. This is a pretty easy mulligan, right? There's no way. There's no way we just keep Ash Barons. Like, with like one of these spells not being here with like a scry on the draw, we might keep it, but pretty easy mulligan here to start. Seems decent, right? I'm gonna bottom back, so we're looking for looking for white mana and inside outs. Oh, stream decker, yep. Thank you. Stream decker's updated. Marty with the four dollar donation. Thanks, bud. This makes twenty four for twenty packs. In sounds good. Let me know when they publish a release date. Um, these are keeps, right? Those feel like they're great. I actually really don't want another tireless tri break. I think I'm gonna go bottom bottom here. I want like more cantrips or white mana. I already played a land this turn. This is an instant speed. I already played a land this turn. Is this instant speed? It is, okay. In fact, got the Mamba, the Mamba, the Blight Mamba. Ooh, which spell? Which spell, chat? Which spell you got over there, opponent? No blocks. Well, it's not necessarily lethal if they counter... Well, we have a dispel to fight over the inside out, right? Should I inside out now in case I draw a land? Oh, I could just gush now and play replay a land, right? Lead on Gush, yeah, right, that's great. I didn't, I didn't quite catch that opponent, which spell? Do <laughs> 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 
beep, 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 beep. All right, so Flag Bearer shuts down their, their pump spells too, in addition to protecting our creatures. Probably don't want Ding Fries or God Popper as a turn three, four. That was turn four. Thank you. That was turn four. That was turn four. Popper spells Gate in. What am I? What am I boarding out? Quick, quick! Somebody smarter than me that knows what's going on. How am I boarding? Is this a circular logics out matchup? Are these too slow? Are these too slow? My gut says the circular logics are too slow, but I'm going to defer to someone who's smarter than me. The days should come in on the play. Oh, that makes sense. Cut that for now. You guys got the Giga Drows? We're playing against uh, Infect. It plays circular logic because you can play it for its madness cost. You can play it for its madness cost. All right, I've been standing for two and a half hours here, so let's sit my fat butt down for a little bit. Enjoy the ride, Twitch chat. Board in surgical. This is the worst format. I can't board in surgical. I think I like this. I think I like this. Dizzy Spell could randomly get them. Like, the, the actual text on Dizzy Spell could win us the game, I think. I do. I do, actually. It came with the desk. I had a bunch of accessories with it when I bought it. They had a Black Friday sale. It came with a bunch of free accessories. Ban Popper until you can play Surgical, right? What's going on, JMP? Yeah. Yeah, my basement's got carpet in it, but it's it's like thin pad, thin carpet, hardwood floor, or concrete floor, so. I think it's fine, right? It's got a combo piece, it's got some cantrips, it's got some lands. Put a mulligan. This is technically disruption, right? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, are we dead, chat? Am I dead? Not interested in those magic cards. Darn one listener elf, or is it his brother? All right. All right. We're probably dead here. How much democracy to meet the babysitter? The babysitter is staying off stream chat. The only cam girl here is me. The only cam girl here is me. Peace, Jake. Have a good one. We're dead now, right? Am I supposed to have Journey to Nowhere in my deck? Is this supposed to be in my deck?
Not better than Dizzy Spell. Maybe. I'm gonna do that. Guess I should throw some money at the cam girl then. <laughs> Thanks for the bitch, Speedhead. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just take the bits and rub them all over my body. Ah, oh, yeah, Echoing Truth could be okay. Someone else said that earlier. Maybe I should have listened. This hand's pretty good, right? Just like needs a white source. A couple of cantrips here. Can tripping. Can tripping. A shuffle. The dispel is kind of appealing, but I think we just want to dig for white mana. I heard cam girls, so the bits are gonna start rolling. <laughs> oh, Twitch chat. We unfortunately can't keep that gut shot because it doesn't come with a land. So. Augur of Bolas, in a way, clears part of a Brainstorm, right? Which is neat. I could also draw Ash Barons and, like, shuffle during my upkeep here. So, I can't shuffle during my upkeep, but I do want to not redraw one of these lands. So, I'll put both those back. We'll redraw one here. We'll play this Augur of Bolas. We just need white mana now, and their start's really slow, so... Looking for a cantrip here, ideally. That's that's technically a cantrip, I suppose. Somebody clipped the take the bits and rub them all over my body. Uh, Cam Girl is going to get this demonetized. It's not family friendly. You are family friendly, Hogland. You are no more. Why you gotta be? Why you gotta be so unfriendly? Yeah, see, that's a sweet hate card because it hates Storm and Tron. What a tilt. This is why I could never play this card when it was standard legal. Just like, look at this. Look at this Augur of Bolas. We're just gonna board this guy out every every single match for the rest of the league. What a what a rude fish. The cup is too full. Sorry, chat. In with the bit bomb it goes. Thank you, Apple Tunes. Thank you to everyone who's hanging out here today. This is our first time streaming Popper. If you're new, welcome. My name is Jeff Hoagland. I'm a full-time magic content producer here on Twitch. I stream magic, uh, I don't know, 30, 40, sometimes 50 hours a week. If you're enjoying what you see, please hit that follow button. It doesn't cost you anything. Helps other people find my stuff. If you're really enjoying what you see and you want to help me produce more content like this, the best way you can do that is by subscribing on Twitch. If you missed any of today's stream or you have to leave before we're done, this is our second league. We're going to play at least four leagues today. Um, you can find the archive of this league and everything else that I stream on my YouTube channel. These cards are both good, right? Gonna go tapped up here. You could also have your brother use your more specifically, you can use your brother's Twitch Prime to sub to my channel. We are doing all popper today, full metal. I like to do all of one format for the long streams. Helps keep them a little more consistent, it feels like. Do I want to draw the Dispel or do I want to just crack this for I think I want to just crack this for white. Are there really that many people who have Amazon Prime that aren't aware that they get a free sub? Like, I just assumed people were aware of what they got with that, but I guess, I guess maybe they don't. Maybe that's a thing that people aren't aware of. This is probably aggressive. I'm 
I cast this preordained to start. Looking for more dispels here. Priority charm is actually pretty good too. So I'm gonna go bottom top here. I'm gonna go ahead and journey, try and take this Icar Climber out. Interesting. Okay, I'll have to do that. To mention that a little bit more. Do I want to just kill both their things here? I feel like I want to just kill both their things, right? Why is Dizzy? Dizzy spell is used to transmute for Tireless Tribe because you need Tireless Tribe to combo kill them. This is feeling like a Augur the Bolas could go the distance game, chat. What is in their hand? Are they just like flooding and dying? Because like they didn't fight over their creature. I've not seen the leaks yet. We've been streaming for the last two and a half hours and I, had, I really don't use social media outside of tweeting deck lists that we're playing. Speaking of, did I forget to tweet this one? I think I forgot to tweet this one. We were doing so many, there's so many other things going on. I did forget to tweet this one. Let's tweet now, shall we? That one resolves. I want to just get another get another white source here, right? How much to get you to play a deck I build without you looking at it first? I don't know. I, I'd play most things for a clean hundred, if we're being honest. For for being honest about about the things I would do. Well, that that's pretty good. Is that all you have is a dispel or do you have another one? All right, they have another one. Okay, so now I can pick these up, right? Have I played a land yet this turn? I don't remember if I played a land yet this turn. All of the comments got deleted. Well, I reported a bunch of them for harassment. I clicked through there and reported a bunch of them. They're pretty good about taking down messages from people that are being harassed. Oh, I forgot to play. I was reading messages and we forgot to play a tireless tribe chat. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Hey, Raging Pixels with that brand new Twitch Prime support. Thank you very much. As always, subscriptions are the best way you can support my content. And as we were talking about, if you have Twitch Prime, you get a free subscription to a channel of your choice every month. It is the same to the streamer that you subscribe to as a uh, just typical uh, four nine a month subscription. Stop playing things you need cards to discard. That's probably good advice. Uh, I think I'm just going to pass the turn here. Yeah, I was going to pass for the turn. I think I want to try and find a dispel or something to protect myself because I feel like my opponent has more set up, but I don't want to burn another inside out. They could just be on lands, but... I'm going to brainstorm an end step here just because I want to have enough blue mana next turn. It's pretty good. So I get to preordain away one of these cards I'm putting on top of my deck. So I probably just don't want either of these. I don't know Piracy Charm and kill one of these. That probably doesn't matter. All right, looking for protection at this point. Dispels and counter spells. Just another insight out is good too. I have two Shadow Rift and two inside out. Yeah, let's go for it. If we, if we fail this turn, we can just go for it next turn. Yep. And next turn, actually, I should lead on the inside out instead of the shadow rift 
because if they counter the in if they counter the shadow rift instead of the insider i can piracy charm and gut shot their way through their stuff This is evasion? Ha! This is evasion. That's that's awesome. Thank you, chat. We're making mistakes and we're learning. This piracy charm card is great. Are you dead? Um, no, you don't have to switch it first, right? I thought someone said I could do it. I could do it after the fact. No, yeah, someone else said I could do it after the fact. No, I can, I can pump, right? This works. Yeah, because this gives it plus defense now, right? This gives it plus defense, right? Right? This, everything is inverted on this card until end of turn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I figured it out. Yeah, I figured it out. We beat Gutshot. Yeah. Get out of here. Get shadowed. Welcome to the Shadow Realm, opponent. It's like an onion. The game has layers, chat. The game has layers. Wait, what? Why didn't they gut shot me? Why didn't they gut shot me? I'm confused. All right, well, we're 1-0 to start off with uh, Blue White Tribe beating Infect. Welcome, welcome, welcome to everyone who's hanging out here today. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. My name is Jeff Hoagland. This is our first popper stream here on the channel in a long time. I am a full-time uh, content producer here. I stream Magic 30 to 40 hours a week. If you're enjoying what you see, please consider subscribing on Twitch. My subscribers are the reason I'm able to do what I do as often as I do it, so big shout out to all of them. Thank you very much. Uh, you can also support my content by supporting my sponsors. MTGOTraders.com would love to buy and sell Magic Online cards with you. And if you use code Hoagland PayPal at checkout with them, you can save 8% on your singles orders there. Uh, CoolStuffInc.com buy and sells a lot of cool stuff, including TCG singles. Using promo code Jeff5, you can save 5% on Magic, Pokemon, and Yu-Gi-Oh cards with them. Uh, InkedGaming.com would love to help you customize your gaming experience using code Jeff12. You can save 12% on custom playmats, mouse pads, binders, and bags with them. And finally, this stream is made possible by viewers like Anironix and you. Anironix likes to remind you to hit that follow button at the very least. It doesn't cost you anything, and it helps other people find my stuff. <laughs> Sorry about that, my wife came in. You're not you're not wrong, Border Walker, you're not wrong. I'm gonna have to get some I'm gonna have to get some French fries. Might have to get some French fries to go with the salt from that Reddit thread. We'll get some tank out. Did you tell your wife you're not a cam girl? Yeah, today is all popper all day. We just played a league with Black Red Torture Existence, which was a complete and total hoot. That deck was great. Um, and now we're in our getting into our second match here as soon as this pops with this deck. And then we're going to play 
Uh, I think some blue-black control later. Hey, Justin, with the $100 donation. Just put a question mark next to this in the queue. What format is it, Justin? You got to tell me a format. It is blue-black mystical teachings. It, it is it is blue-black timeout control. It's blue-black timeout control. Uh, this hand has a cantrip and the combo and a blue source, so we're going to keep. MTG bot got banned from all of Twitch apparently. They said the, the guy that made it said he wasn't sure. Oh, I should have I should have probed first here because if I draw planes, I want to stick my thing. Preordain, they went bottom bottom, so they don't. God, I have to use the snipping tool because Gataxian probed is bugged. I promise I'm still here. Just busy. What's going on, Anironix? Oh, jeez! Look at this punish, chat. Look at this punish. Oh, that's brutal. Oh, found a planes on top. JK, no justice stream, LOL. JK, no justice stream, LOL. Well, Bloodbraid Elf is really bad in Kiki Cord. If you wanna play a Kiki, a Kiki combo deck with Bloodbraid Elf, you should try the Teamer Kiki deck that we played this morning. All right, so this tribe gets to get in under, gets to get in under their counter spell here, which is great for us. God, we're drawing a lot of lands. No, you're wrong. It's a magic online bug. So newer cards that look at your opponent's hand, put the cards in the revealed zone. So Sorceress Spyglass is a card that says, look at your opponent's hand. And those cards go into the revealed zone. The Revealed Zone on Magic Online isn't just cards that have been revealed. The Revealed Zone on Magic Online is the these are the cards you've seen zone. Looking for Dispel. So they have Deprive in their deck. Which tells me they have more than five counter spell for the more than four counter spells. Software created by interns, maintained by interns. <laughs> uh, it's funny because it's true. Uh, I'm just passing here, right? Maybe I should play a second tribe out in case they edict me down the line. Is this matchup bad for us? It feels like this matchup should be bad for us. There's the Diabolic Edict I could have played around. What are... Anyone who's played this before, is this a winnable matchup or can we concede and go to the next one? A Brig a... Brig a dig big. I'm glad you're enjoying the YouTube stuff. Thank you very much. So does that mean I bought a Lantern League for $100? No, get out of here. This feels like it's really miserable. Can I can I just move on? You're heavily okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and just gonna. So for those of you that are new to the stream, we do this on we do this on modern a lot because modern has a lot of lopsided matchups. Um, I just don't play the lopsided matchups. We just concede and play the next one because I I like to have fun playing Magic and like playing a matchup that we're like ten or twenty or fifteen percent or whatever to win. Just like it's such a slog and it's miserable. You just like sit there being miserable for most of it. It's just not fun time. It's fine. Let's find another linear mirror. I feel like this deck's got to be great in the linear mirrors, right? Like our linear plan just like kills them really hard and fast. And we get to play a bunch of cantrips. And this deck plays a bunch of cantrips. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. I like like I said, I'm not I'm not upset with Pauper as a format. Like I was expecting this deck to have some polarized matchups. 
It's a pretty easy mulligan here. We don't have any of our combo pieces and we have a lot of lands. This is a good Hearthstone hand, but it is not a keep in Magic the Gathering. I can't find anything to play in Legacy at the moment. Standard is standard and modern, like I don't have the sideboard against Hunter decks. You should try Jund in Modern, Master. Jund is very reasonable and has a lot of very close matchups that give you a lot of play to it. Just like Bloodbraid Elf pushed Jund in a really nice direction. Hope you know it'll most likely be Randy Controlled. Deal. Deal. We. I make a living playing crappy modern decks at this point. I love me some crappy modern decks. Um, these are keeps, right? I need a second island here, too. Uh, the bot is currently broken. You can find the donation queue link here. We're looking for an insight out at this point. Yeah, Popper actually seems like a sweet format as far as, like, interactive magic goes. There's a lot of really good interactive choices in this format. We we are not currently playing one. Um, the deck we played before this on stream was a really sweet, grindy, interactive deck. Why, what got banned? I don't remember. So, is Preordain worth taking here because it digs us to more stuff? Probably. Oh, I don't know why it got banned. I know it got banned on all of Twitch, though. The creator of the bots that he was looking into it, he messaged Twitch to find out why the bot got banned. Because a lot of people use that bot. Most magic, like even the official magic channel used that bot. It's feeling like we're kind of dead here. I guess they could get like overly aggressive. The prop, what does this do? Holy God, we're getting stompied. The planeswalker damage changes are good. We're just dead, right? So, they play a lot of pump spells, so Standard Bearer seems good. Journey to Nowhere seems fine. Is that going Truth good enough here? I'm gonna give you a timeout on that one, Gabriel Pants. It's kind of uncalled for. Let's not make jokes about that type of stuff. Please be considerate in the future. These are probably too slow. Dispels pro do they have dis cards that dispel interact with that interact with me? Piracy charm's probably okay. He just took a clip of one of my videos. He took a clip of one of my videos and used it in, in their own. And then the person that did that was kind of rude to me on social media, so I blocked them. And they were rude to me on a different form of social media after I blocked them on Twitter. So then when I found out they used part of my content without asking, I filed the YouTube paperwork to get that taken down. Start with Ponder here. Evolving Wilds is perfect. Shadow Rift is also necessary in this matchup, it feels like. Here's the salt I collected from the Reddit thread that is now locked. Cheers, Jeff. <laughs> oh, God bless. All right, so I don't need another Shadow Rift, so I'm going to crack this here. Grab a Planes. Go ahead and cast this Preordain. 
So we're, we kind of want to land. I guess I'll take these, right? Because I need another land to gush, and then the ponder can hopefully help us dig for a... The ponder can help us dig for a uh, an inside out. They're, 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 they were a small content channel. They weren't highlighting anything on me. I don't care. Three months of Amazon money. The Empire. Thank you for re-upping that Twitch Prime support. And honestly, even if even if he was a big channel, if someone's a dick to me and then takes my stuff without asking permission, I don't care how big their channel is. They can fuck they can fuck right off. Like if we're being if we're being blunt. Do 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 one or the other. Ask me permission or don't be a dick. That's like I block people on social media constantly because people are obnoxious and like tiring and I don't feel like interacting with them. But like it take that's the first person. Yeah, it's not the first person. It's like one of a handful of people that's like tracked me down on another form of social media after they got salty that I blocked blocked them on the first one. Watch out for fog. That, uh, now I kind of wish this was a dispel. Fog is scary. I actually just can't beat a fog, right? Yes, Anironix. You can be whatever you want to be. I haven't seen this Quarian Ranger before. A lot of the Moto promo artworks are fantastic. God, fuck off, dude. I love my favorite part about the internet is how many lawyers I get to meet. There's so many lawyers on the internet. There's so many lawyers on the internet that tell me how fair use works. They're experts in fair use. <laughs> Look, all I'm going to say for the last time to that wanker that I just banned is I have people file copyright claims against my YouTube videos all the time. Do you know how many of my videos have gotten taken down when someone filed a copyright claim against them? Fucking zero. And do you know why zero of my videos have been taken down? Because I've never been in the wrong. I've never taken someone else's content and used it on my channel to be in a position to have used someone's content without asking permission. Because I make my own stuff. I do. I make all of it. Or the stuff I don't make, I pay other people to be allowed to use it. It, look at that. Magic's tough. This magic game is tough, chat. Never didn't have it. To the Shadow Realm, Yugi. To the Shadow Realm. Oh, I left circular logics in. I left circular logics in. And again, I'm not a lawyer. I could, uh, maybe, maybe I'm in the wrong here, but I just, I followed, like, the guy was a dick. He was a dick to me. He took my stuff without asking permission. So I said, hey, he took my stuff without asking permission. And I clicked through the forums and said, this was my stuff. And he used it without asking. No, that's a different keyword. But we damn sure are salt miners. Yep. All right. So because of fog, I'm going to swap these piracy charms back out for dispels. Fog is scary. The night is dark and full of fog. The night is dark and full of fog. All right, I'm going to click submit here really quick. I've been going for like three hours. I'm going to run, run and get some water really quick here. I'll be right back. This hand doesn't have white mana, but it has two of the three cards we need. Like, we need Shadow Rift in this matchup. So, I think I'm going to keep this. Hey, thank you for the bits. 
I don't know anything about law. I'm not a lawyer. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a lawyer. I don't know if I have to ask my opponent's permission to use them on this stream. Their actual image isn't used in the stream. <clears throat> their digital cards that they are poking at are used on the stream, not actually their image. Anironic sent me his face to use. God, this chair is awful. I thought maybe my wife's chair would feel better than my crappy one, but hers is terrible. Need to buy a real office chair this week. Ugh. All I know is every time a copyright claim gets filed against my channel, they send me a form and I get to say, hey, is this valid? Or no, this is not valid and it's not valid because, and then I fill in the because why I have permission to use what I have. Well, since they bricked here, I'm just gonna play this auger of Bolas out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the counterclaims are reviewed by a person. I would fully believe that when someone files a claim, they automatically accept the claim and send it to the other person and said, hey, someone did this claim, defend yourself. And I'm not going to claim to understand fair use. Like a lot of it's complicated, a lot of it's legal stuff, and I don't have a background in that. I think I just want to buy, is the Herman Miller on sale? I think I'm just going to pony up and buy the nice one. So I'd really like one that doesn't hurt my back. Your back pain got better with just a racing chair? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't really care what it looks like. I just really want it to be functional. I had a really bad back spasm the other day, and it's definitely related to how much sitting I do. And I don't even sit that much, right? Like, I, I use the standing desk a good deal. Just like I can only stand for two or three hours at a time, and sometimes we do streams longer than that. Correct, Bob. That's, that's correct. Yeah, it's really, it's really funny, A2B. A Yeah, your gaming chair is like almost as expensive as the the hybrid office one though, Anironix. All right, so we have them dead. We have them dead next turn or two turns from now, right? And hopefully this dispel means we don't die in the crackback. And I'm probably just gonna preordain looking for another dispel, right? The hate boner gives you life. Mind the salt of Reddit for the new chair. Thanks for the pit night stars. <laughs> All right, so they need two pieces of interaction to not, not lose here or some way to push lethal this turn, right? That, that doesn't matter. I can kill them through 23, right? I have a bunch of cards in my hand and Inside Out and Shadow Rift both replace themselves. And they only have one card here, so they should be dead. Because Gush puts infinite cards in our hand. To the Shadow Realm, Yugi. To the Shadow Realm. Thank you for the big link. I'll open that in a tap for later. Which spell? This one right here. Boop. 
We are too powerful in the Shadow Realm. We are too powerful. Too powerful. The tireless tribe, he will persist. Bum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba ba ba. Bum ba dum ba dum ba da 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 da. I see we're playing all dusty draft decks. Yep, basically, it's essentially, essentially what we are doing today. All of the draft leavings. You explain how this deck works. Use the card inside out on tireless tribe to combo kill your opponent. This hand is both of our colors of mana, and it's got a probe plus a brainstorm. Maybe this isn't a keep because it doesn't have tribe or inside out, and the cantrips are... Yeah, this was probably supposed to be a mulligan. All right, this one's going to have some play to it. Got some blasts over there. That's so fantastic. All right, so lead on Ponder, just looking for Tireless Tribe at this point. Another island, too, at some point, but Tireless Tribe is just, look at that, just, just what the doctor ordered. You have this circular logic to protect it and this dispel. And, like, they can't just Galve Blast to kill it because we just get to discard cards to protect it. Yeah, this is looking like a turn three kill, right? Or they can, they can core sky for sure, right? They're just taking a card out of our hand. This is fine. Uh, actually, their white sources are tapped here, right? They had Boros Garrison and Secluded Step. So if they don't have an untapped white source or a creature to play off this great furnace, we should just kill them next turn. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Both are, I'm looking at their hand on my snipping tool again here. They have, uh, so they played this, they played this, they have garrison and step, so they need an untapped land or something to play off of this. We probe them on one for those that are just joining us. And we have the Dispel and the Circular Logic to protect from... Protect from removal on our turn. Did you get the donation deck I sent you? Uh, Cuzco, if you sent it during the stream, I haven't added it yet. But if you sent it previously, it should be in the donation queue. You can check the donation queue here. If you sent a donation deck list uh, prior to today and it's not currently in the donation queue, you should message me later to make sure I edit it. How do we just win? Okay, so inside out. We're going we're gonna to do it right now, Jin. We're going to go inside out on here. We draw a card. And then and then we're going to gush. Yeah, of, of course. Of course, Anironics. We're going to turn three, kill them. Just good, clean, fair, interactive magic. And we're going to float blue just in case we get, uh, they try to gut shot us. <laughs> got a, got a turn three kill with, with, uh, with counter backup. Twenty one, you. All right, the actual card draw gust, right? All right, how do I sideboard? This is this is a hydro blasted matchup or no? 
Is this a blasted matchup? The blasts are just better than dispels, right? Giga Draw is probably bad. Standard Bearer seems fine. Is there anything Dispel gets that Hydro Blast doesn't? Anything at all? Days Dispels Augur out. That makes sense. Blessing makes sense. Rebirth is Sorcery. Oh, Prismatic Strands. Huh. Yeah, I probably care about Prismatic Strands, so I probably shouldn't cut the Dispels. The last time we played this matchup with a different deck, they definitely had Prismatic Strands. Fragmentize for Journey. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, well, Dis Dispel counters Pyroblast as well. Like, I'm just comparing, like, Dispel versus Hydroblast. How much to pause you? Uh, Piracy Charm gives Island Walk, so it's not unblockable in this matchup. I'm gonna click Submit. This is fine. This thing's pretty good. It's got Circular Logic in it, and it's got a Tireless Drive on too. Seen an inside out. Sharp Object 89 with that brand new Twitch Prime support. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As always, if you're enjoying my content here, subscriptions are the best way you could show support for it. Just looking for an inside out, so let's shuffle those. It's not bad. Bad. Sorry, messaging my wife about what we're doing for dinner this evening. It's fine. Gush, Gush just like deals infinite damage, right? There's no point. Sometimes minus one mana. All right. Uh, if we had an inside out, they're dead, right?
These take a mana to activate, right? Right? They're dead? They're dead? Anyone? I just need chat. I need chat to double check. I need chat to double check. My wife is the best. She brought me snacks. I love you. You're the second best cam girl that lives in this house. Hey, Cousin Vin with the three month three subscription. Thanks a lot and welcome back. You're ugly. I am ugly. It's a good thing you're stuck with me. They're dead, right? I think they're dead. <laughs> Are they ghosting? Are they ghosting? Were I watching the stream? Is that why they tapped out? Don't accuse people of ghosting. It's not nice. Well, there's no reason to concede there. I need, I just like barely tapped the land and they conceded. Every time you accuse people of ghosting, the internet attacks you. Most of them are ghosting. <laughs> I mean, like, they lost, I guess. Popper's a hoot, Nam. Popper, Popper's a hoot. Not sure why it came up again. Welcome back, Nam. They are, in fact, in the viewer list. That's so funny. It's funny because in a way, our opponent lost that game because they were ghosting. They tapped out because they knew we didn't have it and then we drew it and killed them, right? Like we won that game because they knew we didn't have it and then we ripped it and killed them. It ends good. Yeah, turn two tribe. You get to ponder looking for an inside out. All right, Cusco, thank you. Um, I don't look at deck lists or add them midstream, so my my stream process or ritual is I stream, I format and edit YouTube videos after we're done, and then I check all my messages and update the donation queue with what people donated for. Affinity? Should I... Nah, I would say should I hold up circular logic, but we don't need to do that because we have a backup tribe. How do we feel about keeping these? I probably need Shadow Rift to win this, right? And like the ponder gives me more looks. So yeah, I think I'm gonna keep these. I'm not, not into Smash Bros at all, no. I play casually, like my brother, my, my younger brother is pretty into Smash Brothers. So I played on his computer a couple of times. We played on the N64 a bunch back in the day. The sound of my opponent's drum is strong. My younger brother, yep. All 
All right, looking for an inside out. As we just passed here. Yeah, some of the retro, the retro 64 games are really expensive. How do you feel about the magic card silence? I think it's sweet. It was really good in uh, the, uh, what's it called deck that we played, Just Guy Ascendancy. So you probably have a couple of turns to find the inside out here. They're running us for eight, so we're on a three turn clock, but if they have like a Galv Blast, Shrapnel Blast not legal as far, right? If they have a Galv Blast or a Fling, we could be dead as soon as next turn. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Andrew. <clears throat> oh, Andrew. I mean, like, when you're good, you're good, right, chat? Just like, when, when you're good, you're good. This deck speaks to me, chat. It speaks to me in my deepest, darkest place. I feel like I'm supposed to hold up the circular logic, right? Can I do that? Can I, so if I, I'd have to play this land and then I can discard one, two, three, four cards, which only gets me to 17. Do I play around a Galv Blast here? I'm not, I'm, I mean, we're definitely going for it, right? Well, if I brainstorm for Gush, I can't hold up Circular Logic still because then I'm, and then I'm behind a blue mana. Not play that, ain't that the truth? They could also be holding a card to bluff. They could be holding a card to bluff here. All right, kill me. Ah! Ah! All right. Um. Hmm. Hmm. D seems really bad. Yeah, it wasn't really a slow roll. They were like waiting for us to do our thing. That was, that was good. That was good timing on their part. I'm like the first person to call out people that slow their roll here, and that that really wasn't a slow roll. Do I want these journey? The journey are these standard bearers? Hydro gets rid of Atog. Yeah, it probably gets rid of all their instants too, right? So it's probably better than Dispel. Let's 
No, Tortured Existence is a deck. It's the first deck that we played tonight. Why is the Drows good? It, like, fogs them, I guess? It doesn't seem particularly good. We did not win game one. Their last card was Galvanic Blast and we went for it. Our last card was Galvanic Blast when we went for it. We died. We blew we blew our load and they got us. Okay, I'm gonna submit and get me happy with us. Why well, you gotta be interactive, opponent? This hand's very good. Hats off to a turn three kill here, hopefully. Probably want to ponder looking for a Shadow Realm. No, Evolving Wilds comes into play tapped, so I can't play Tribe on one. Just gonna shuffle those. And hey, we are three one in this league, so we've cashed we've cashed this league as well. So that's nice. They must just have Galv Blast, right? So they kept a one lander. Do I offer to trade this for this? I guess they get two cards out of me that way, which is not worthwhile for me. I don't have a gush to recover. Yeah, I'm just gonna pass. Pretty good. Yep. Well, they missed a land drop, right? So taking their germ off the table would mean they're basically down a mana, which is the appeal to it. So like, is it worth trading a card to put them down a mana is basically the question. We're not trying to break anything. We're just trying to get get our sea legs here in the format. I guess Augur is actually pretty good here, right? Like it holds their nerds at bay and then it helps me find a thing. Although I guess um, he's actually pretty likely to miss here, right? Yeah, I'm actually just going to shuffle because I'm putting hands. That's a good one. Did I play a land yet this turn? I have not. This is turn four. Repop will be a regular feature of the stream. It's going to depend on what the viewer numbers from today are like, along with how the archives do on YouTube after the fact. <laughs> if we're, if we're being honest. Mm -hmm. 
I'll take a look at Twitch gives you a lot of statistic information. So I'm going to compare it to like the legacy days and the modern days. It's probably not going to come close to modern days, but it's probably comparable to what the legacy content gets. And legacy has been kind of rancid in the format recently. So the, the format itself is actually pretty enjoyable. There's, there seem to be a lot of different decks that we can be playing in this format. And there's, um, the gameplay is pretty dynamic and interactive. Like even this deck, that's a combo deck. We have a lot of different choices to be making, right? I don't think we go for it on turn five. I think this is going to be a turn. I think we're going to preordain looking for another blue source because we want to go for it with Hydro Blast up. Isn't there an inherent bias because this is a special occasion? Kind of. Yeah, it's definitely going to be lower than if we like did it consistently, but I don't, I don't think it would be that much lower. Like, like I said, comparing it to Legacy is probably more fair because I play Legacy kind of sporadically as well. That's good for us. Yeah, yeah, I need I need another land so I can protect my combo while we go off. All right, well, that's the land we were looking for. I guess we just, like, dig for more protection here. Or a gush. That's pretty good. Gives us plenty of cards. Am I enjoying this format compared to Modern or Legacy? Uh, I really like Modern right now. I think Modern's in a fantastic spot, so I don't think I've played it enough to compare it to that, but I'm definitely enjoying the games we've been playing more than the recent Legacy format. Like, Legacy recently has just been really, really pretty compressed. And, like, the terms of, like, what decks you can be playing in it. All right, so... Huh. I just want to counter that, right? I don't want to get... I don't want Fling to kill me by mistake here. Uh, yeah, we're probably going to hit our opponent for a ton of damage this next turn. Gush, Gush really lets you push a ton of damage. So, if both of their cards are in interaction, we're dead here. Uh, I guess let's find out. Oh, so we're dead? I believe we're dead, right? Yeah, we just, just can't beat double interaction. So I have to cast Insight out and then I only have one mana up. We don't we don't have more lands we don't have we don't have an, we already played a land for the turn if we hadn't played a land for the turn we could we could in fact gush and then be fine yeah we already we already played a land for the turn the fact that i had to gush early to hit more action early really caught up with us this game because we just didn't have enough mana to like play through their interaction here I, that, uh, countering their thing was irrelevant. That didn't matter. It didn't. It didn't matter. I talked about fling, but you're right. It didn't matter. Countering that was irrelevant, regardless. How how can I bait them? There's no there's no baiting. They just like play one spell. I counter it. They play the second we die. Yeah, I have two counters, but I have to cast insight out to win the game, chat. So I only have one island left up then. It's it's a mana issue, it's not a card issue. I just don't have enough mana to win the game. Good game's opponent. Just it's and that's like that's what you need to beat combo decks like this, right? Like Pauper, Legacy, Modern, the the formula is all the same for beating these decks. The formula is 
pressure plus a disruption plus a clock right like it wasn't the fact that our deck couldn't beat the interaction it was the fact that our opponent was applying enough pressure that we were unable to have time to play through the disruption that they were presenting this deck was kind of sweet it was fun as far as like meme decks go this was definitely definitely a quality one of those just like random turn two we had a couple of turn three kills we didn't have any turn two kills a turn two kill is pretty rare because it requires you to have one of your two basic planes on one and a tireless tribe but we definitely had a couple of turn three kills in there which was great all right what are we what are we doing next and if you missed all any of that league it took us a little over an hour 